week 16 of the fantasy football season. I mean, here's top 12 defense DST units. I'm ranking this week number one, the Philadelphia Eagles. So the Eagles have a great matchup this week here versus the New York Giants, where they give up the most fantasy points to DSTs on the season. So I know Philadelphia late in that game versus Seahawks in week 15 blew that one and lost it. But this defensive line, they could create havoc. Giants offensive line, one of the worst all lines in the league. And Tommy DeVito, I know he's been playing good football for this New York Giant team. But this week, I believe this Eagle team, after coming off three bad losses in a row, bounce back and it starts with the defense getting pressure on DeVito and causing some turnovers. Number two, the Kansas City Chiefs. So the Chiefs DST has been a solid unit all season long here for Kansas City. And this week, a good matchup versus the Vegas Raiders. I know the Raiders last week put up a monster game, 63-21, beating the Los Angeles Chargers. But this Chief defense, they've been good all season. The weakness has been the offense, believe it or not, in most cases. In the ball games they lost, where their offense just can't put up enough points on the board. But most weeks, this DST is only giving up mid-teens, low 20s in scoring. So this week, with the Raiders coming to town to Arrowhead, I think Kansas City once again goes out there and has a good performance on defense. Next D, number three, New York Jets. So the Jets, their defense has been a strength all season. Their obviously offense has been a train wreck all year with a bad offensive line and bad quarterback play with Zach Wilson, Tim Boyle, or Trevor Simeon. So this week it's going to be Zach Wilson or Trevor Simeon starting this game for the Jets. So we saw last week Wilson left with the concussion. This week it's a good matchup for this DST versus the Commanders that give up the second most fantasy points to DSTs on the season. So like I said, this Jet defense, they've kept their offense in the game all year, but their offense just can't score and go out there and make plays. So I think this defense locks in Sam Howell. He's been taking a lot of sacks this season and they have a good ball game. Number four, Green Bay Packers to the Packers is a one-week streaming option. Have a great matchup at the Carolina Panthers. Obviously, give up the third most fantasy points to DSTs on the season. So Green Bay, I know their defense has had a lot of problems in the secondary over the last few weeks, giving up a lot of points and receivers and quarterbacks have had big ball games versus defense. But Carolina, we know all season can't move the football. And Bryce Young, he's taking a lot of big hits and they're not scoring touchdowns. So this week, I think the Pack is going to Carolina get back on track with the defense playing well in this one. Number five, Denver Broncos. So the Broncos, their defense, I know it's been a tale of two tapes for the most part this season. Early in the year, giving up 70 points to the Miami Dolphins. And then last week, one of their worst performances in almost two months, giving up 42 points to the Detroit Lions offense. But this week, a good matchup versus the Patriots. I know Bailey Zapp's got this offense playing a little bit better for this New England Patriot offense, but I don't see them going out there and doing much. Zapp's taken a decent amount of sacks so far in the first, last couple weeks here since he's coming in as a starting quarterback. And I think this Bronco team, where they play better at home than they have on the road to keep their playoffs hopes alive, have a good game back home this week. Number six, the Buffalo Bills. So the Bills have a great matchup at the Los Angeles Chargers where their offense has been a problem over the last few weeks. Even when Justin Herbert was in there, at offense for this Charger team. They had trouble moving the football before he went down with injury and out for the season. So Easton Stick gonna be the starting quarterback once again for this Charger team. Last week, the offense didn't do much until garbage time versus the Raiders after getting blown out, losing by 42 points in that game. And I think this week, this Buffalo team, their defense has improved over the last few weeks. They shut down a solid Cowboy offense as well, only to 10 points in that one. We're going into the fourth quarter. The Cowboys only scored three points. So this week here, I think it's going to be difficult for the Chargers to move the football. And I like Buffalo once again to go out there and have a good game. Number seven, the Cleveland Browns. So the Cleveland Browns have a good matchup once again at the Houston Texans, where they're definitely banged up, already tanked their out for the season. CJ Stroud once again, most likely not playing second week in a row, coming off the concussion. And with Case Keenum in there, quarterback, this Brown team I know is going to get pressure on him early and often. They're going to stack the box and make Case Keenum try to beat him. And also Nico Collins might not be in this game. So if Miles Garrett could get in that backfield early and often, Case Keenum's not really an elusive quarterback that could get away from the rush. So this week, yeah, I think the Browns are going to create a few turnovers. This could be a low scoring type of grinded out game between these two teams as well. And those are the type of games the Browns have played over the last few weeks for the most part, besides that ball game versus Jacksonville a couple weeks ago. So right now with Case Keenum in there, quarterback, I think Cleveland could wreak havoc and have one of their better performances over the last few weeks. Number eight, the Washington Commanders. So as a one week only use DST, I think the Commanders could go into New York and have a good game. Trevor Simeon, once again, all that Aaron Rodgers talk, I think was just some hype 
an attention that Rodgers wanted seeked on him. But anyway, this New York Jet offense has been one of the worst units all season. They can't move the football. They barely found the end zone. And they really only had one great game all year versus the Houston Texans a couple weeks ago where they put 30 points on the board. But right now, even with a defense that hasn't done much, I think the command is to get pressure in this one, get a few sacks, and create a few turnovers where this is going to be a grinded out low scoring type of game like we've seen many times this season with the Jets and their opponents. Number nine, the Chicago Bears. So this bad DST still gives up a ton of points, but they do create a lot of turnovers. And I think Montez Sweat has definitely been a big ad at the NFL trade deadline. The guy could get to the quarterback and create havoc in this week here in a decent matchup versus the Arizona Cardinals where they do give up top 10 fantasy points to DSTs on the season I think they could get pressure on Kyla Murray we know Murray could put up points but we also know Murray has turned the ball over a decent amount since he returned from his ACL injury so this week I think Chicago Soldier Field once again could go out there and have a decent performance and they've had double digit fantasy points the last three weeks in a row number 10 the Indianapolis Colts so this Colt DST has been a decent unit in terms of creating turnovers and finding the end zone but they do give up a lot of points to opposing offenses but this week another good matchup with the Atlanta Falcons Taylor Heineke now the starting quarterback for this Falcon team but Heineke we know is a gunslinger and he's good for a pick or two per game as well so I think the Indianapolis they're going to create a few turnovers in this game also I think this could be a mini shootout between these two teams but even the games we've seen Indianapolis give up points in the mid-20s low 30s they've had some defensive touchdowns or at least had a bunch of sacks and created a couple turnovers so this week once again i could see a similar game script in this one number 11 the seattle seahawks so they're another streaming option this week is seattle even though they had a pretty decent game plan i thought versus the philadelphia eagles in the week 16 victory holding philadelphia down only to 17 points in that one so this week a great matchup going to tennessee where it's either going to be will levis not at 100 percent with ankle sprains or Ryan Tannehill a quarterback where we saw him early in the season and he couldn't move the football down the field and we know this Tennessee offense has one of the worst offensive lines in the league so I think in this one we're going to see some pressure early and often in this one with the big guy Wendell Williams in the middle Jamal Adams possibly might return in this ball game and they got to get Woolen on the same page because last week they had him on the bench a lot in that ball game but I think in this matchup this defense could get right Go out there, make a few plays, at least minimum get three or four sacks, I believe, in this one. And is a streaming option at Tennessee, one of the worst offenses in the league. I like Seattle this week in the 12th and final defense DST I'm ranking is the Cincinnati Bengals. So the Bengals go to Pittsburgh where third string quarterback Mason Rudolph is going to start this game. So they, all season long, they've had problems as Pittsburgh moving the football pretty much all year. Every game they've been out gained. And I know Cincinnati, their defense really isn't all that great this year where they've given up a lot of points and we even saw it last week where Nick Mullins had a nice ball game versus them where he was also the Vikings third fourth string quarterback this season but I think this week in a familiar matchup a familiar foe at division rival the Pittsburgh Steelers with Mason Rudolph in their quarterback I think Cincinnati could create a few turnovers and like I said besides Deontay Johnson and Jalen Warren there's not much going on this season for this Pittsburgh Steeler offense. George Pickens, he hasn't done much. It doesn't seem like he's interested in going out there and making effort. And I think Cincinnati in this one, in a ball game, they know they need, and they could go out there and make a few plays to keep their playoff hopes alive. They have a decent performance. So that's a top 12 defense DST unit. I'm ranking for week 16 of the fantasy football season.